All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So about 30 minutes ago, we got a new producer's letter for the global side of the game, which gave us some pretty exciting info about part two of the Golden Week celebration, along with a preview of the upcoming Summonable LR. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, check it out together. So it says, Hi everyone, this is the operation team of the international version of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Thank you for playing Dragon Ball Z, or rather just Dokkan Battle. Are you enjoying the Soaring Fighting Spirit Dokkan campaign? To give everyone the latest info, here's the producer's letter for this month. Number one, a new character will be available in the Legendary Summon. Uh, a new character will arrive in the Legendary Summon, which will be available in part two of the Soaring Fighting Spirit Dokkan campaign, and that LR is in fact going to be a Super Saiyan Goku and Youth Super Saiyan Gohan. Together, not as an exchange unit like we got in part one, but rather as just one unit, as you can see in the art, right? And we got some highlights here. It says they have a powerful active skill, and in addition to the basic stats boost, this character's stats can be further boosted by obtaining key spheres. So this basically means that they're a nuker where they get like a certain percentage per key sphere obtained, or it could be kind of like the Int LR Rose where this unit will get uh, attack for the amount of key they have out of 24, right? So that's also possible, but uh, either way, they will be getting more attack based on X number of key, sphere, uh, key spheres obtained. And on top of that, they also will be getting critical hits within the same turn in which the active skill Full Power Father Son Kamehameha is activated. So I'm assuming that it's going to be an actual super attack style active skill. But then after that, if you launch more attacks, then all those attacks will become uh, critical hits for that turn, right? So that's pretty good. And uh, we also have some more information here about the banner itself. Plus, starting from this legendary summon, three featured LR characters will be available. Okay, so, uh, you know, before we had the top legendary summons, which were two featured LRs, which was, you know, more than normal. But now, we're gonna have three featured LRs. I don't know exactly what those LRs will be, but if I, if I had to take a guess, um, I mean, you could be either, like, positive or negative about this, right? Because, like, if you want to be kind of negative, then you would say maybe, you know, what would make sense is, like, Fizz LR Cell and maybe Fizz LR Trunks or... No, actually not Trunks. Um, I guess Int LR uh, Gohan actually would make the most sense, right? So Int LR Gohan, Fizz LR Cell, and then the new... LR. In which case, I mean, it's not that exciting because the two other LRs are much older. Although, if they decide to give Fizz LR Cell an Extreme Z Awakening for Part 2, then that makes his inclusion on the banner much more exciting, right? So it really depends on, you know, if like one of the other feature LRs gets an Extreme Z Awakening. Um, but yeah, I feel like the most likely featured LRs outside of the new one would be Int Gohan and Fizz Cell. If you guys have predictions, you guys have any ideas, feel free to let me know in the comments down below, but that would be my pick at the moment, right? And uh, yeah, I think this might be the first time we ever have three featured LRs on a Legendary Summon banner. Obviously, you know, for Dokkan Fest banners like Anniversaries or the Worldwide Celebration, we have had up to four featured LRs at this point per banner, right? But never for a legendary summon banner i'm pretty sure so this is a pretty big deal hopefully they start doing this more often in the future because at this point there's so many lrs in the game that i don't think featuring three plus lrs for a legendary summon banner is that crazy right so uh yeah that's cool and in addition the number of featured characters will be adjusted so it will be easier to uh, recruit new characters so not only are we getting three featured lrs the overall number of featured units will be reduced. I don't know if it's gonna be like one less than normal or two less, but that's always a good thing, right? Cause usually they include a lot of like random fodder in legendary summon banners, which makes it much harder to 
pull the main featured LRs you want, but if they reduce the overall SSR pool, um, featured SSR pool that is, then that's that's awesome, right? And uh, lastly, details on events and characters will be released sequentially through in-game announcements and announcements on our official social media pages, so make sure to stay tuned. So basically, we don't have any um, concrete details about the new unit. Um, all we know is powerful active skill, which is the full power father-son Kamehameha, not a surprise there. And also, uh, attacks become crits on the turn you use the active skill, and they get uh, further... Oh, not just attack boost, actually. I, I think I read attack boost at first. It's a further stat boost by obtaining key spheres. So it might be like attack and defense plus 30% for every key sphere obtained, or attack and defense plus 20% uh, for every key meter or something like that, right? Um, so yeah, more details uh, coming soon for this unit, along with the animations, of course, which we don't have at the moment. But uh, that is basically the uh, part two producer's letter update. We do have one other page here, which I will quickly show you guys. Number two, Spanish and German will be supported. You will be able to enjoy Dokkan Battle in German and Spanish. So these were previously um, options that weren't available in the game. They were not supported languages. But now with the update uh, in part two, the uh, German and Spanish players will be able to play the game in their language, in their native language, which is always a good thing as well. So there you go. Uh, we've been working to add these languages, language options, so that more players around the world can enjoy Dokkan Battle even more. The new languages are scheduled to be made available in, oh, my bad, next month's, next month's uh, version update. So not for part two, but in June sometime. And the Facebook pages for these languages will also be created, German and Spanish speakers, Make sure you don't miss out. And that's all for this producer's letter. We hope you continue to enjoy Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So there you have it, guys. That is the producer's letter. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited for this upcoming Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Youth Gohan. Um, it does make sense as far as a second part to the uh, you know celebration. I mean, it's it's kind of like the part one Goku and Gohan, except, you know, obviously this one's not an exchange unit. They're together as opposed to, you know, Goku first and then and then Gohan, but it's the same characters, right? But I guess there weren't that many options. So uh, it's cool. It's cool. I'm excited for sure to see what they do, to see their animations. So until I see all of that, I'm going to withhold any further judgment, but um, I think it's a fine choice. I, I think it's a fine choice and that's gonna do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and uh, until next time have an awesome awesome day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media signing out